Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. This is my weekly show about what I'm working on, what I got done, and what is coming up. So, not a lot of painting this week. It's a busy, busy week for writing um, and getting stuff filmed. So, I only painted four models this week. <laughs> but I did finish off a project. Yeah, the start. I, I finished the start of a project. I finished off uh, my initial 100 points for my um, Space Marine Heroes Ultramarines kill team. Uh, and that included two Reavers and three more of the Space Marine Heroes. And I also assembled and primed and airbrushed uh, the base coats on the remainder of them. So I should have this done in the next couple weeks. Um, I do want to be playing some kill team. I got some kill team stuff to do next week, actually. So I'm going to maybe get the other four done over the weekend. We'll see. Uh, and then I've been talking about um, doing some more Fallout content. I want to get some more of the survivors painted for that before I move on to another faction, which will probably be Super Mutants, paint some of them. Um, or who knows, wave two has come, maybe Raiders. Uh, I've also got some more stuff to finish off for my uh, Varuna for Infinity, and then my last big monster in building for Monster Apocalypse until I get my Armadax, in which case I'm, I'm done my Protectors project for a little bit and I can move back to Fallout. That's kind of why I'm getting the Fallout stuff out, because I only have like, a couple more models to paint for the Protectors, and I've got five monsters. When I get Armadax, I'll have six monsters, and the Protectors project's finished. I can just play Monster Apocalypse for a while and not be working on stuff, because I'll have a bunch of combinations. I have like 36 combinations of different monsters I can take in the game. So anyway, I'll show you what I got finished and what is coming up. So here's the finished pile for this week. I finished off two Reavers, um, my Sniper Specialist, and uh, another just Bolter Marine from the Space Marine Heroes uh, for my Ultramarines Kill Team. And these guys are going to join these three that I already did, which is my Demolition, uh, my Leader, and my just other Bolter guy uh, as a 100 point kill team. So this is my initial 100 points. It's all finished. Uh, I used some of the... Um, tech basing kit from Workshop to kind of match the base on the reverse to these guys. Uh, and this will form the initial 100 points that I take take out and try, basically. I have um, some of these great squad marks markings here to differentiate my uh, my specialists. It's just so I can remember, really, and my opponent knows who they are. Um, it's an old Blood Bowl trick using base rings, and the squad mark stuff was perfect for 30 Zemo bases. Uh, so I have kind of my, my supporty dudes with the yellow bases, so my sniper and my, uh, sorry, my, yeah, my sniper and my um, leader are on the yellow rings, and then my more fighty guys, the demo and the uh, combat sergeant there from the reavers uh, are on the orange rings, so I can kind of tell who's who. I think that's be handy. I'm really happy that they turned out. I love, uh, if you guys hadn't been keeping up with this, the um, cobalt blue, uh, this is one of the chameleon paints from Green Stuff World. And they're fantastic, really, really, really cool. Um, and they, they were used uh, to basically give this like nice dark blue shimmer. And then it was just the recesses were kind of washed with some flat null oil, not the gloss. Uh, and then just hard edged with some bright silver to kind of give them a banged up look. And then just the other colors were painted on top. So very nice. You can see them when they're just airbrushed uh, in a second as I show you what I was working on um, for next week. But there they are, the first 100 point kill team from Ultramarines using the Space Marine Heroes. Really stoked about these. Uh, excited to get some games in with them next week. And in the coming up pile, we've got the remaining, basically what I had left to paint. So two more Bolter dudes. I think he's going to be a comm specialist as well in my roster for Kill Team. Uh, and there's just another Bolter fella. And just like before, I cut the pegs off the helmets and put them on their waist. Because these are, these are Spartan Space Marines. They don't, they don't leave their helmets at home. <laughs> if they take them off, they stick them on their belt for whatever reason. Uh, this guy with his bionic eye, I think, makes a cool comm specialist guy. Because um, the one that has the actual auspects. Uh, in the Space Marine Heroes doesn't come in the North American Space Marine Heroes set. You have to buy Space Marine Adventures to get them. Uh, and then my other gunner, so it's Rocket Man here with his rocket launcher. And then the, the, the Reaver pack I got is the one from, um, it's where I got all my Death Guard too. Oh, what's it called? No, no fear. I think it's, it's one of the baby star sets. It's the one with the Reavers and the Intercessors. And he's ready to go too. You can put him on the tech bases from uh, the 40k basing kit. I can't remember which one it is, Sector Mechanicus, I think it is, Sector Mechanicus. Yeah, and it, it matches pretty well the bases that they have. So I think my plan is, because when I paint these four with the seven I already have done, I'll have 11 guys. I think my plan is to do three of each Primaris guy to go on the kill team. And then, I don't know, maybe some scouts. You can take Intercessors, so I'm going to do at least three Intercessors. I have nine spots left, basically. So I'm going to do three Intercessors. I might do three scouts. Uh, and that leaves me with three spots left, and I'll probably use some of the Vanguard Marines, either the Recon Marines. I think the Vanguard Recon guys are probably the ones I'll end up doing. Yeah. But it depends on what the elites are, too, because I kind of want to do, if the Space Marine Heroes Pack 2 is five Terminators and a Captain, I kind of want to do the five Terminators as well, because if you can use elites in, in Recon or in uh, Kill Team. I'll probably just do one or two, though. Ah, yeah, but it's a roster. 
So if there's like a cool melee one and a cool shooty one, I might want to do more than one. I might just do the intercessors and leave the vanguard guys at home and leave three spots open for elites later on. That's probably the smartest thing to do. It means I can use space brain heroes too in this army as well. So anyway, there's the next four, um, and I'll probably pick up either just like a paint set or something like that. If anybody's got those three marines from the paint set kicking around, they're not using um, that'd be awesome. And just do the the three intercessors to go with this kill team. So I have the awesome intercessors and then three scouts as well. I just want like a taste of everything from the current kill team list. So that my 20 man roster, I basically have access to all, like, all the possible combinations. And here's some stuff from my friend. I grabbed the Zulu Cobra with a hacker profile. So I'll have three now. Um, and this guy still hasn't been painted yet. This is my Echo Bravo um, that needs to get worked on, but he'll probably get worked on in the next week or so. Um, some survivors, you guys have probably seen these guys already a long time ago. This is the survivor stuff I've yet to work on for, um, what is it, uh, Fallout, Wasteland Warfare. I want to get them done before I start working on anything else. I, I, the way I am, I know I have to complete a project. So these are the, the most recent thing that I cleaned and primed. If I don't finish it, I won't want to move on to something else. And I really want to start working on the terrain and, and maybe a new faction. So I really need to get these done so that I can move on to other things. And then I painted my Shadow Sun Syndicate building, like corporate building, and Zor Raiden got airbrushed, uh, ready to get painted for um, Monster Apocalypse. And that'll put me at... I'll have both Zor Maxim and Zor Raiden painted, which means I have all the Zors <laughs> that are currently available. Um, and puts all the, the human stuff basically ready to go. I just need to get Armored uh, for my dinos, for my pterosaurs. And ready to go. So there's some stuff coming up uh, in the next week or so. I'll probably be playing, Mike and I'll probably get together to play some more Monster Apocalypse next week. I'm going to try and take the Shadow Sun stuff. Um, as opposed to taking the, um, I'll still take some guard stuff probably, but the, these guys are pretty cool. And I want to try them out as just like a faction on their own. Uh, and then I've also got some plans for some kill team next week too. So there it is. There's what's coming up. So you got another on the paint table done and on the books. Four more models painted for the year, adding to the total. Um, and lots and lots of stuff to do. Endless projects. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we'll see you next week for another on the paint table. Till next time, Ash. Happy gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to so get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Um, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.